Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you what gear you'll need to, when you're starting motocross or you, or you get your first bike. The first thing you'll need to get and spend your good money on is a helmet and the motocross boots. So when you're looking at buying a helmet, again, definitely going to local bike shops really helpful to get the right fit. Right, so the few things to look out for when buying a helmet that's really important is if you're from the UK you're going to need to check that you have this sticker right here which means AC approved if you're from the states you're going to need to check that it's dot and snell approved and I'll put a picture of that up um, a few extra features that are really helpful on a helmet is if they have you know the air vents right here is really helpful another feature that's really helpful when looking at a helmet is you know if it has removable cheek pads like this that's really useful because then you can just you can just throw those in the washing machine and they'll get nice and clean and for the next race which is really useful again with motocross boots definitely go to your local bike store because it's they're just really helpful and you'll get the correct size and everything because it's a pretty big investment that you don't want to get the wrong size and you know have wasted all your money your feet are always close to the ground and you know they're going to need to be protected for moving parts, wheels and other people's bikes especially. So you definitely want to make sure that these fit right and that you spend a decent amount of money on them. Most important things really to look out for is that they've got a nice heat shield here to protect from the exhausts, adjustable straps and you know it's helpful if you do have replaceable parts because it's quite likely that you know these could snap off in a crash or whatever so instead of buying a whole new set of boots those are really helpful. And again, if you have a bigger budget, then you can buy some of the top of the end boots, like the Alpine Star Tech 10s, which clearly these aren't, <laughs> which, you know, have the option of getting a removable sole, which is really helpful because, you know, if, if you do wear your sole down, then, you know, instead of getting a whole new pair of boots, you can just repair the sole for, you know, a lot cheaper price. And, um, yeah, then they pretty much will be brand new. The next thing you're going to want to buy, if you can, is a neck brace. There's a couple different brands out there. I've gone with the Liat Brace. They're, again, a pretty expensive investment, but this is going to protect you from any spine, spinal back injuries, really. When you're wearing it with your helmet, it works by so your helmet can't tip back, forward or side to side too much, so you, you don't hurt your neck or anything like that. Some people prefer to ride without them, but, you know, if you can, if you can live with it... <laughs> And, and you can find one that's a comfortable fit, then I definitely recommend it because, you know, it, it can definitely save some nasty injuries. The next thing you're going to want to buy is a chest protector. As you can see, I've got the Fox Pro frame. There's literally hundreds of types of chest protectors that you can choose from. This is more a roost protector that will just protect you from, you know, rocks and mud. Um, so it is pretty lightweight, but it is also compatible with a neck brace, which is really helpful. There are full body suits that you can buy that, you know, have a kidney belt built in, elbow pads built in, spine boards, which is really useful. But obviously, you know, this is helpful as it is super duper lightweight and as you can see, there is nice padding inside. The next thing you're going to want to go and buy is some knee pads or knee braces, depending on what budget you have really. As you can see, I only have some knee pads, um, but these really just protect from bruises and scratches, really, either from when you like hit your, you know, your own plastics of your bike, or you tumble off and hit the ground. They're only really going to protect from bruises. If you have a bigger budget, knee braces are definitely the way to go. They offer a lot more protection than just a knee pad. Obviously, they offer protection from bruises and scratches, but they offer offer protection. They keep the movement of your knee you know, very minimal, so if you crash you can't twist your leg and they offer a much more personalised fit. Whether you go for knee braces or knee pads, you're going to need some type of motocross sock. As you can see, I have gone with knee brace socks, even though I've only got knee pads. These just stop your the straps from your knee pads or braces basically rubbing the back of your leg. And as you can see there, you know, they've got air holes in them to keep you nice and cool. And yeah. The next thing the next thing you're gonna to want to buy is a pair of 
motocross pants and a motocross jersey. Again, a really just down to what you prefer, what brand, what graphics, and what fits you really. So what you're gonna to wanna to look out for, on they have a leather heat shield right here to you know protect you from the exhaust of your bike. Um, lots of them come with hip pads in here, which just offer some added protection. With motocross pants, the more stretch panels the better. Really, as you can see here, you've got lots of lots of stretch panels all around the back and in the front as well. In the jersey, you're going to want to look out for that it has some, you know, air holes right here because that just keeps the air moving and flowing so you don't get too hot when you're riding. A collar, a tightish collar up here so that, that just like keeps the mud out and any debris that's flying at you and again that's really all about the jersey because it's just down to what colours and what graphics you prefer. The next thing you're going to need to buy are some motocross gloves. Things to look out for here really are some like silicon tips on the end do help to help grip onto your levers. Um, extra padding and panels here just help to keep wear and tear of the glove down and comfier on your grips and really just look for the right size. These gloves also offer some protection from roots with this rub with these rubber parts right here which is also really handy. The next thing you're going to need to get some goggles. This is a pretty basic goggle with a clear lens and just some tear off posts. And these goggles are different again as you can see they have a tinted lens so that helps sort of the glare from the sun. And this is really the third type of goggle. This has a tear off system so that you simply just pull across there and that will give you a clear layer of film. If you wonder what tear offs are, basically they're just this clear plastic layer that goes over onto your tear off post and that will just give you a clear field of vision really. So in a mud race you're probably going to want to build up a lot of these on the goggles. Some other things that you're going to want to buy, and I'll put some links and some pictures up, are a set of elbow pads because just really to protect you from breezes when you tumble off your bike, etc. And another really important thing that some, you know, um, race clubs actually expect you and you need to have is a kidney belt that just wraps around the back of you and, and, and protects your kidneys, really. Pretty simple. Another thing that's really helpful if you're definitely looking at racing is to have a spare set of pretty much everything. A spare set of gear, especially if you know, you're know you in a mud race and you know on your second moto you need to change to some clean gear. Um, goggles have you know at least two pairs of goggles, again just so you have a spare and plenty of tear offs and if you have a roll off system you know a set, another set of roll offs. Spare pair of glove, you know that sort of comes in with a spare set of gear really. If you have any questions and you're thinking about starting motocross or you know you think I've missed anything out feel free to comment and if you want me to show a video on anything particular definitely you know put that down in the comments below. I've put a load of links in the description box below of you know good websites that you can buy all your motocross gear from and I'll, I'll link all of all of my motocross gear as well in the description box below. Thanks for watching.